Hello everyone, thank you for joining me today. I'm Dave, the Froggy Vapor, and today I'm going to be taking a look at this fellow, the OBS Cheetah RDA. Um, so we'll go down on the desk, I'll show you what's inside the box, we'll take it to bits, show the parts, put a build on it, quick it, juice it up, come back up, have a vape, and I'll give you my final thoughts. So without further ado, let's Stick them down to the desk. Come on. Right then, so here we are with the packaging. There we go. Cheetah and OBS on the top. QR code there. OBS there. Cheetah. OBS and smoke. And on the back. We've got some a bit of information about the, the RDA in the box of the cheetah accessory bag and a fighter adapter. Put some warnings down here. This one is stainless steel, also comes in black. Scratch and sniff. So, moving on. One of the good things about OBS is that their manuals are always very clear <clears throat> the pictures diagrams descriptions some more on the back and there and dimensions there 32 mil diameter 37.2 mil high Weight is 28 grams and it's made of 304 grey stainless steel. So, <clears throat> as you pack in context, bottom left hand corner and <coughs> come to that now. There's the RDA itself. In the packaging, we also get a little hex screwdriver that I can't use because of my stupid thumbs. We get a box of goodies. Now, I have used the coils that come in here. It comes with two twisted coils. But when I put them in, they fine, but Partly this video is for because I've been asked by a subscriber about recommending a, a dripper for him for his first one. So I thought that you know a very low ohm setup wouldn't be great. So I've done a couple of simple cancel coils. So in the bag we get some O-rings, five cent adapter there. And we'll take out the seal the bag. That one is stupid, boy. Um, and some spare screws. And as I say, it does come with a couple of coils that ohm out at about 0.23, something like that. Uh, no doubt it will depend. Um, but yeah, I, I just I'm aiming to get about 0.6 on this build. So. You take that off there, standard drip tip, pop the 510 adapter in, and then pop in your favourite drip tip. And there you go, 510. 510 drip tip pulls that adapter out quite nicely, otherwise it's a pain in the dump. And what we'll do is we will put it back in here, because I'm not going to use it. Put it back in the box and then put the stuff away and then crack on. So, down there, instructions, box, done. Put the drip tip back on. Sorry, got drip tip 
and we've got the airflow control there. Four holes all do the same thing. So wherever you've got on one, obviously you've got on the other three. And I'll come back to the airflow in a second. And then and on the bottom of the dripper, we've got designed by OBS and a serial number. And for those of you who are not blind, you will have noticed that I've got a coil on it. Um, just trying to sort of save a bit of time uh, rather than just drag on and drag on. So there's one, it's 12 wraps, point, uh, 24 gauge cancel, and it should come out at about 0.6. Because 0.5 can't always pretty easy to work out. So if I drop that in there, we've got one in the top, one in the bottom. There we go. 3.5 millimeter. Bosh, that goes in there. there, there. Let's take it off. Get a bit of idea from me. There we go. So we've got. The 3.5 right there. I get me screw driver and screw it in there. Hold it bloody still. It should be somewhere close. Right, let's get me clippers. I'll just have them wires off. I don't move it now because I never get bloody moved. I'll just get knocked on the floor for the dog to step on. This one. Right. Just use a few nuts, a quick tweak. Nuts. Post screws. Cheers. Right. What I'm aiming for is to get these coils level with level with these tanks because that's where the airflow is going to sit. What I'm going to Airflow up. If you look there, there's those two lugs, one by my finger, one by my thumb, match up to those two lugs there. So when that, let's see these kicking in, cause not straight. Um, 
for a baby for something like that. That's about pretty bang on for me. So when this is on here, <coughs> coils are directly below that airflow. You can probably see them in there. There you go. So this airflow system, this top bit obviously goes into there, forms a steel there for your chimney. And then air goes in there and down on top of your coils. And also, because this chamber is all one, and your airflow rings inside there, not only does it go down there, it also goes down there and down there. Now, When it comes down here, you look, it's got coming down between the inner barrel, which is this bit here, and the outer. So there, you'll probably see, if I get it lined up properly, you can probably see a little gap. Down there you go, down there, right lined up there. There. Anyway, so it comes down this inner barrel here, and then just there and there, right below or above the little tags. So when the tags are in there, that airflow is coming out to the side of the quill. You've got airflow there coming down. <clears throat> on the top, and also airflow coming in from the sides, and then up through the middle, up through the chimney. <clears throat> so, and that does seem to not just be a gimmick, actually serves a purpose. Cools or keeps the vape fairly cool. Out of touch. I'll work on the basis of going somewhere close to the top of the post because <clears throat> if you don't go above the top of the post, you can't short the thing out. So, a second, I'll just drop this back in there so I don't lose it. Drop that in there. We'll get some wick in it, put some juice on it, vape it, <clears throat> and we'll all go and do something else. <clears throat> Excuse me. Let's have a quick drink. Right, let's just check these cores out. 0.55, I can live with that. I was going for 0.6, but 0.55 will do. That's much better than 0.23. Um, so let's uh, get them put it in. Turn that down a little bit. Juice well on this is about 5 mil, which is not massive, but it's plenty big enough. We've got, um, <clears throat> we get a fair amount of cotton without choking it up into the well. Yep, I'm going to leave those, I'm happy with those. So, while that's cooling down, I'm going to be using Native Wicks Premium Blend Top Grade. It says Top Grade. It's not bad, I think. It's pretty good. Um, I 
don't use it all the time. I, I use it on. I'm not using me Muji. I, I can't really be bothered to cut strips and faff about. This stuff is much easier to more forgiving. Um, this and cotton bacon bits. But this is better than cotton bacon bits in my opinion. Um, but um, I just like the fact that it's. If you can, you can do similar things with Muji cotton, but this just is slightly easier to cut down to size. No, they're not too bad. Um, so that's one. <coughs> I'll tuck that in. This side. And obviously, if you've got side airflow, you can leave a gap underneath the coil. And I might be able to get both out of that piece of cotton. Probably will, actually. So, that's one. That's the other. Yep, that'll do. I don't need a massive amount of cotton. We'll fluff up a little bit. We can tuck him in there. And we can tuck him in there. We go. We end up with bloody focus. So there we are, whipped just about. I'll get some juice on it, and then we'll go up top and have a mate. I'm going to. Use my trusty Pandora because I've had it a long time. I've ate a lot of it, so I know what it tastes like. I know what it should taste like. So get this nice and wetted without chucking it everywhere, fuzzy. Right, stick a little drop in the middle. Which it does. So, we'll put the tank back together. And these O rings are snug, I have to say. I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm going to borrow a bit of a Stick it on there. Here we go. And there's the coils.
There we go. So, top on. Got the way. Back up top. Have a vape, and we're done. So, I will bring this back on there. Do that there, do that there. And I'll see you back up top in just a jiffy. Right, viewer, that was the OBS cheater up close. Uh, what I'm going to do with this, because I've got a friend who likes to vape between 20 and 25 watts. So, what I'm going to do is take this from 25. I'm going to close the air off. It's nice to focus on time today. Um, it's that little speck of opening there. Probably on all four, but I'm going to close the air off and do a 25 watt mouth to lung. If I can remember how to do a mouth to lung. So, yeah, there you go, Ash. Thank you, mate. Um, and then I'll just open it up halfway, just halfway, still 25 watts. Which is not too bad. Now I'm going to go from 25 to 50, so I don't want to faff about going through, you know, stick that up by 5 and 10 degree increments. Now you don't want to sit and watch it, and I don't want to sit and do it because it's pointless. Um, so we've got 50 watts, still half airflow. Uh, coil now, just have a look. Coil now is reading 0.65 and it's 50 watts is point. 5.7 volts. Can you show you that? I'm not trying to say. This ain't going to focus, is it? Anyway, trust me, it's um, 5.7 volts. You're putting about eight, 8 amps. So, I'm going to open that up now. Fully. Airflow fully open. Still 50 watts. Dropping like a stone. Clouds for the proverbial. Um, now, I'm going to go to 75. Seems like a reasonable number. 25 to 75. With 50 in the middle. So, let's put my eyes back on. I don't want to sleeve these on. <coughs> I need it for seeing. Um, 6.98, call it 7 volts. At 75 watts. We do it fuzzy. Camera's not going to focus. Let me get you some focus first. Video input. Focus. There you go. Right. Seventy five watts. 0.65 on the coil, 6.98 volts. So let's uh, give it a go. Hello, hello. <laughs> I'm in there somewhere. Um, and that—that that is not. What I would call hot. Um, it's starting to get warm, but for a 0.65 ohm coil, 75 watts for a reasonably cool vape, that airflow is obviously working. Um, <clears throat> let me just push it to 85. Shit. That's 7.43 volts. 
I call it seven and a half volts. You can almost cut that with a knife. Um, up at this end, the flavour is. I would still know if somebody gave me that and said, "Hey, Foggy, what's what juice is in that dripper?" I would know it was Pandora. But the flavour isn't as flavoursome and as, as rich as it is down at sort of fifty ish. Um, so I'm just going to go back down to. I'm not going to push it. Yeah, I will push it. I will push it. What a noise. Let's see what happens at 90 watts. 90 watts is 7.65 volts. Now, again, it's, it's warm on here on the top of the. Well, but the vapor itself isn't hot. Um, I don't know. Go for broke. Let's go for 100 watts. Um, and that is what? What is that, Fugly? What's 100 watts, Fugly? 8. 8 volts. Wish me luck. <laughs> this is going to be warm, I think. Yeah, that's again. It's not red hot. I've had I've had hot of vapes, but it's too warm for me. It's just too warm to be comfortable for me. Um, so I'm going to go back down to fifty-six point seven, just as I can. And that's that is probably in the region of five volts. So six Six point zero seven. It's showing on here. But when I press the fly button, I get between five point three and six. So anyway, fifty six point seven volts. What? No volts. Not volts. <laughs> what? And that's a very tasty. Very thick, dense, like, nice. Right, pros and cons. Cons, for me personally, there are none. Uh, you've got a 510 drip tip adapter, which is a plus. You've got plenty of airflow control, which is a plus. You can go mouth to lung or up to a full lung. Um, the coil is easy to build on. Juice wells fairly deep, can hold a fair bit of juice. Um, yeah, for me, for 18 quid, that is a bloody good buy, made by a good manufacturer, OBS, made some good stuff in the past and still do. Um, their instruction manuals are brilliant. Um, the airflow is different, but it's not a gimmick. It's not just done for the sake of doing something different. It actually seems to work for me. Um, so if you're in the market for a reasonably priced dripper that does what it says on the tin, will give you a good bloody good flavor vape with options airflow wise oil size wise quill pipe wise it's a bloody good buy for 18 quid probably get cheaper than that i will put links in the description for um the um gear best and i'll put the first link up that comes up in google search for uk and the same for the usa um i'll put some timings in should you want to use the timings um and just very quickly i'll pop up the dimensions for you on the screen um there we go it weighs 28 grams it's 22 mil in diameter 37.6 mil high. Um, so it's quite a squat little thing. It's not the smallest on the market, not the biggest. It's it's nice. I, I like it. You can't tell that. Rob, I hope you like this. Um, I, I think it'd be good and for you for a first dripper. Um, there are others I could warn you at, but this is probably 
pretty good all rounder. You start off small and go up with it. Um, so yes, I hope you've enjoyed the video. Thank you very much indeed, as always, for watching. If you've enjoyed the video, leave me a like down there. Gosh. If you haven't subscribed already, please do, either up there or down there. Um, if you want to see more, I've got hardware reviews to do, I've got juice to do. Um, I'm always looking for the, the weird and wonderful and the slightly different, but always affordable. But the key for me is it has to be affordable for you and me. I'm an ordinary bloke, I don't print my own money. Um, so if you want to see more, subscribe, you get notification when I post a video, and it's free. And it gives me you know, a, a little tap up. And to all of you who do currently sub subscribe, thank you very much. I do appreciate all of your subscriptions. And if you've got comments, positive or negative, please leave them down below and I will answer all comments. So, all that rambling on, I'm going <coughs> to say, have yourselves a good day. More importantly, have yourselves a bloody good rate. And I'll see you guys in the next one.